Hey guys, what's up? Today we'll be diving into a very complicated topic. You might know about this, you might not know about this. However, today's topic, we are talking about sebaceous filaments. However, before we continue with today's topic, ladies and gentlemen, just click the subscribe button because it helps this channel tremendously. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything regarding skin and skincare related products. Now, today's topic, we'll be talking about something that you might have seen on your skin and you might be wondering, hmm, this is not whitehead, this is not blackhead, what the heck is it? Today, we'll be talking about sebaceous filaments. What are sebaceous filaments? Are they dangerous for your skin? And if you do not like them, how do you actually remove them? So first up, what are sebaceous filaments? Sebaceous filaments are actually natural occurring structures in your skin. They're actually very fine tubes or tube-like structures which extends from your pores. Now, it's been long postulated that sebaceous filaments have no function at all. But lately, they discovered that actually it has a very important function. Due to its tube-like structure, it acts like a pipe. And what the sebaceous filament does, it actually transports or facilitates the sebum or natural occurring oil in your skin to flow out into the surface. Now, sebum is important for the epidermic layer of your skin. First up, it contains oil to hydrate and keep your skin moist. And secondly, it contains a little bit of triglyceride and oil with a little bit of vitamins and minerals to feed the bacteria which is naturally occurring on your skin. And these particular bacteria, in turn, help fortify and maintain your skin barrier. So overall, sebaceous filaments are actually natural occurring and important for you. However, despite sebaceous filaments normal for your skin, an increase of buildup of sebaceous filaments and at the same time, oxidization of the, of the filaments causes your pores to be big and at the same time, cosmetically not pleasing for your skin. Now what happens is over time, the sebaceous filaments, they were thicken up. And when it becomes thick, it actually stretches up your pores. Now bear in mind, your pores can't actually open or close on demand. It is the sebaceous filaments that actually keep it open. So one of the ways to actually shrink the pores is actually to reduce the size of the sebaceous filament or to remove it completely. And at the same time, sometimes sebaceous filament can look like a blackhead. And this is because of the excess buildup of sebum and dead skin cells stuck to the surrounding structures of your sebaceous filament. This also leads to oxidization, hence the sebaceous filament looks a little bit darker. And more often than not, this is the main complaint of sebaceous filament and why a lot of people want to get their sebaceous filaments removed. So if you're interested in removing your sebaceous filaments, listen up, here are the steps to do it. First up, to manage sebaceous filaments effectively, certain key ingredients are needed. Because sebaceous filaments are oil-like structures, you require an active ingredient that can dissolve sebum or dissolve oil on your skin. And if you have not guessed it, Yes, you need salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid which helps exfoliate dead skin cells and helps unclog your pores. It is great for oily skin or anything that is oil related, and one of which is sebaceous filament. By using salicylic acid on your skin, you'll be able to shrink the size of your sebaceous filament, leading to smaller pores, and you're able to dissolve part of the sebaceous filament, leading to a better cosmetically looking skin. Now, that is just to reduce the amount of sebaceous filament. However, the spacious filament will grow back. Before we continue with the video, ladies and gentlemen, let me know, how do you differentiate a sebaceous filament from a blackhead? So another ingredient that you should choose is an ingredient that can control the rate of the sebaceous filament growth. Now, bear in mind, the sebaceous filament will definitely grow back, but you want to grow it at a slightly slower rate. So one of the best ingredients to use is something called retinoids. An example of retinoid is either adapalene or tretinoin. These are medical grade vitamin A creams. And what they do is they control the amount of sebum that your skin produces and at the same time control the size of your sebaceous filaments. These are also acne creams. So if you have acne, you can definitely use those creams. However, one of the downsides of using a retinoid is that it can lead to certain skin dryness. So here are two alternative ingredients that you can use if you do not want to use retinoid. You could number one, use niacinamide or number two, use green tea extract. They are also both very good at controlling sebum and at the same time controlling the size of your sebaceous filaments. So how do you build a skincare routine with all these active ingredients? 
Now what you can do is start off by using a salicylic acid cleanser or a salicylic acid toner once to twice a week. And if you're using a retinoid, you can then use it once or twice a week as well. However, if you're substituting with either niacinamide or green tea extract, your niacinamide and green tea extract can be used on a daily basis. So over time, the spacious filaments will slowly start to reduce and then eventually disappear and your pores will be shrunk as well. However, if you're impatient and you want a quicker result, you could always go to an aesthetic clinic and get it removed by either microdermabrasion, chemical peels, or even lasers. So remember, end of the day, balance is key. Overtreating your skin can strip your skin from its natural occurring sebum, which can then lead to skin dryness and disrupted skin barrier. That's the end of the video. Hopefully, you learned something about sebaceous filament. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you ever suffered from sebaceous filaments. And forward this to your family and friends if you think they'll benefit from it. Do not forget to turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky. Remember to always stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.